Hey guys, so for today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can safely buy fish during this pandemic. How I'm gonna be doing this is I'm gonna be ordering these fish from two super cool websites, Live Aquaria and Aquarium Depot. They're super cool websites. I personally used them both and got great results. And I think this is just a great time to show people that you don't necessarily have to leave your house for fish or fish tank supplies. You can get them all just ordered to your doorstep and don't have to risk getting sick or getting anyone else sick. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Alright, so the first website that I'm going to be using today is Live Aquaria. It's a super cool website. It literally has everything fish tank related. Marine fish, freshwater fish, corals, and freshwater plants, and a whole bunch more. Which is really cool because it just has a huge variety. So I'm going to be using it today to buy a clownfish and a sea urchin. So the clownfish that I'm going to be ordering today is a caramel misbar clownfish, which I think looks really cool. It looks a lot better than just the standard clownfish. And the next thing is the sea urchin. The reason I'm getting this is I have a little bit of algae and I think sea urchins just look a lot cooler than just the standard snail or hermit crab that you can put in a saltwater tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that sea urchin, which is a pin cushion sea urchin to the cart. That's all I'm gonna be ordering from Live Aquaria. Now I do wanna order some corals, but Live Aquaria seems to be out of stock on most of their corals right now. So I'm gonna use another website called Aquarium Depot, and it's got some really cool corals at really great prices. I'm not gonna show you guys all the corals that are ordered cause it's just gonna take me a while to navigate around this website. So it'll be a surprise when I open it, but I'm gonna get four total. They're all really easy beginner corals. So yeah, that's the two websites I use to order my fish, urchin, corals, that sort of thing. I will see you guys the day that the packages come, which should be in one day. Early the next morning. All right guys, it's the very next day and I just received all three of the packages that I ordered. The two things that I ordered from Live Aquaria were a sea urchin and a clownfish and they came in two different boxes because they're from two different locations one came from california and the other one came from florida now this one right here is the coral that i ordered and this one also came from florida and i went ahead and wiped them down with some disinfectant wipes just in case because you never know who's handling these things so let's go ahead and open these guys up. They've been in a box long enough, so let's break them out. So the first box that I'm gonna be opening is the clownfish, or what I'm assuming the clownfish is in. I'm gonna open it really carefully. And there it is. So, oh, this is the sea urchin. I was totally expecting a clownfish in here. You can see the little sea urchin in there. It's a pin cushion sea urchin. Yeah, this guy looks super cool and I'm, I'm really excited to get him acclimating. So now let's try and find the box that actually has the clownfish in it. So this box right here has to have the clownfish in it. Here is our little clownfish. He is really active right now. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and Put them over here with the urchin. We can start acclimating. So I just took the lid off of the saltwater tank and I'm going to unplug the power head so the bags don't float around. And I'm also going to dim the lights quite a bit. Here's the sea urchin. Set them in our most prized possession or my most prized possession, this little clownfish or big clownfish. So I'm just going to let these guys float and temperature acclimate for around 10 or 15 minutes. While I'm waiting for them to temperature acclimate, I still have one more box. All right, the final box, which is the coral. And here they are, the four corals. The first coral right here, these are just some zoanthids. Right here's the candy cane coral. Here's a green spotted mushroom coral. And then finally, got some green star polyps. We're gonna get these guys acclimated as well. All right, so how I'm gonna acclimate these corals is I'll put them in this little bucket right here. The reason I'm wearing gloves 
is because this coral right here, uh, zoanthids, they have a toxin on called paleotoxin. So now that all of the coral is in this little container right here, I hooked up this little line that goes to the main saltwater aquarium and it's just slowly dripping water from this aquarium into here so the coral can get used to the parameters. Right after the corals are done, I'm gonna do that exact same process for the sea urchin and for the clownfish. So the corals have been acclimating for around 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these corals to the tank. Next up for the acclimation, we have the sea urchin. You can see all those little tentacles sticking out and I'll acclimate this guy for a little bit longer because he's a little bit more sensitive to the water parameters. So I just went ahead and put the sea urchin in and he's looking pretty good. He, all his tentacles are moving around. Hopefully he's starting to eat some algae already, but now it's time for the clownfish. The one I was most excited about. Move them over to this little container right here. Oh, I just missed it. To this container right here. I just took them out of the bag and have the little drip loop going. And now I'm gonna leave them until the water parameters are the same. It's been exactly half an hour and I just put this clownfish in the tank and he seems to be doing just fine. And all of the corals are all closed up and look pretty gross. They're just kinda doing their thing. <laughs> Hopefully they'll look a little bit better in the next few days. But the sea urchin, you can kind of see his little spines back there. He's just been walking around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dim the lights or completely shut them off. And then I'll check back in in a few days and if these guys are still alive. And if the coral opens up, then I'll do a little update for you guys. So yeah. The next day. It has been exactly 24 hours since I added the clownfish and corals to the tank and this clownfish is doing super well. He's getting along with the other clownfish that has already been in the tank and they're doing just fine. The corals are all looking really good. They've all opened up and expanded and the sea urchin is nowhere to be found. I'll go ahead and show you guys the corals that I got closer up. So these are green star polyps. Uh, they're one of the fastest growing corals out there, just like Xenia. Xenia is also a really fast growing coral, but these guys will grow and hopefully take over this entire rock and it'll all look like that. Nice neon green color. Then we move over here. Then we got the green spotted mushroom. It's expanded like to twice its size and it's just kind of waving in the current. It looks really cool. Uh, hopefully they'll get a little bit bigger. And then right above the mushroom, we have the candy cane coral. It's not doing too much, it looks pretty much the same, but I think that's just what they do. They're a little bit more slow growing. That's doing well, but my favorite coral that I got has to be these uh, zoanthids. They're really nice color, nice green and blue fluorescent color under the blue light. They just look super cool, and I got a whole bunch of polyps, so hopefully those will spread out as well. But overall, everything is just doing super well in this tank. I almost forgot. I found the sea urchin. He's in a little crevice back there. He's doing good too. Um, I just saw him grazing on algae a couple hours ago. So, and these guys are nocturnal. So I do expect to only see this guy at night. Before I end the video, I need to name both of these clownfish and I already know what I'm gonna name them. This one right here, I'm gonna name him Zed cause that name just is like really easy to remember and super short, so Zed. And this one right here, this one's probably gonna be my favorite. It's gonna be Scott. Scott just seems like a perfect name for a nice little clownfish like this one. And together, they're just gonna be Zed and Scott. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the video today. New viewers, if you like what you're seeing, you can go check out some of my other content on my saltwater aquariums and freshwater aquariums and consider subscribing. Returning subscribers and returning viewers, make sure to like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.